Hey YouTube, I took Core 11 here with my full comparison of iOS 6 versus iOS 7. So I'm going to start off this comparison with the lock screen. See, I do have iOS 6 on the left and iOS 7 on the right. And with iOS 6, you have a simple slide to unlock button, you have the clock, and you have a little camera icon. Now, when you get to iOS 7, you can see that the whole screen is slide to unlock, so you can slide to unlock anywhere. You have the clock at the top, as well as notifications that comes down from the bottom, and control center. You also have the little camera icon on the bottom. Now you really begin to see the changes on iOS 6 when you get into the home screen. You can see the same basic icons on iOS 6, however when you get to iOS 7 you can see the new icons which are more colorful and overall just different. Now when you get to the folders you can see a real difference. On iOS 6 you just have the same basic folder with only one page up to 16 applications. However when you get to iOS 7 you can have unlimited folders as many pages as you want so you have as many apps in the folders as you want. Now when you get to notification center they both swipe down. However, on the iPhone 5 running iOS 7, you can see that you have the today, all, and missed notifications. Now there is a big difference between multitasking in iOS 6 and iOS 7. See, on iOS 6, it's just the basic ones with a few quick controls to the left, and to close an application or to quit it, you'd have to uh, hold down an X out of it. However, with the iPhone 5, you can see that you do have this large tile view, which is very nice and easy to access to get through your different applications. And to close an application, you just swipe up on the app or icon and it will go away. With iOS 7 you do have a new exclusive called Control Center which opens up when you swipe from the bottom of the screen and gives you quick access to important settings. You can see even applications like settings on the iOS 7 it fills up the whole screen with applications and has a little bit of an effect when you scroll through it. Weather is an example of an application Apple changed a lot. You can see it takes up the full screen now with iOS 7. You can have different settings and even a live background. So it's a lot nicer in iOS 7 weather. Apple also significantly changed the camera application for iOS 6 and iOS 7. See in iOS 6 you just have the options at the top with grid or if you have an iPhone with HDR or panorama. And you also just have a camera application and switch between video. Now you have flash, you can switch between front and rear facing camera. You can swipe between square, panorama, photo and video modes. And when you're on the photo modes, you can have live settings to different filters like that, which is a very cool feature to add live filters to your photos. Another difference in iOS 7 is the keyboard. You can see on iOS 6, it's just the white and gray one. However, on iOS 7, it is black. But in different applications, the keyboard will change for iOS 7. As you can see in the Messages app, it is white. Another cool feature about iOS 7 is that you can have dynamic wallpapers, which I do have a separate video of, so go check that out if you haven't seen it yet, which allows you to have 3D and moving backgrounds on your phone. So that is all to my iOS 7 iOS 6 comparison. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.